Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of CookieCast. Today on CookieCast, it's James Plays Episode 3. Today we're discussing the games Ace Combat 7 and the upcoming game Resident Evil 2 The Remake. So uh, have a little listen to this and see what you think to what we think about those games. Crystal Maze, Crystal Maze. Well, I like both. Oh. Crystal Maze and Crystal Maze. Both entertaining. They're both good. Uh, right, here we go. It's Hello, mate. Time. Right, mate. How's it yeah, going? Nice to see you here. Yeah. It's, 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 it's been, been ages. It's been ages. Inside joke. <laughs> um, it's podcast time, as it is. As it is. Uh, James plays. Sup, yo. So I'm here, and he's here. Slithering scarf. Jump. Looks very similar to last week, but these are the clothes I wear all the time. I'm wearing a jumper. <laughs> you are. Very nice. Very nice jumper it is too. I've got blue hair. <laughs> um, so, today, I've got a game to... <sighs> I've got this thing... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, it's already, it's, it's, stressing, it's, it's really, stressing me out already. It's really complicated. <laughs> you can I don't just want to ruin it for myself. It riding into the danger zone. <laughs> Actually, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> what while you... Just keep talking while I find something ready for you to do your review. I think it's important. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I've got a game I want to talk about. I haven't finished the game. And the game before this one flipped on me. And I never finished it because there was a, there was a whole issue with the mission. Uh, so I'm going to review a game partially. I don't want to ruin it for myself. You're going to preview a game, aren't you? I am. Um. So, uh, talk I, about talk, wait, just talk about your game. What's your game called? My game's called. <laughs> is that the art jumper? Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> I want to review Ace. <laughs> Shout out to Archer so that we don't get sued and maybe we may be able to be it was a great, this is the thing, it was a great version. A great it was version. a great version. So, so I want to talk Ace about Combat. Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. So, bit of history, big Ace Combat fan. I think I've mentioned that before. Big yeah. Ace Combat fan. Um, the, the last one, I think, was a bit sketchy. It, it, its structure wasn't brilliant. And, as I've said... I can't remember if it was, the last one wanted you to do missions like over and over again to get money to almost like buy not like money to, money, to, but buy, to buy like <laughs> play but to buy like more missions and so it was weird right. and I think the one before that was the one that had the mission I couldn't do so I, I never finished it um, so. so so all in all you love Ace Combat but actually if you look at your history it's not that successful mm, yeah 60% uh, <laughs> sort of success rate so Ace Combat 7 you played it at Yara Gamer. Eh? I did. There's a poster that I keep threatening to put up any minute now. Um, I had some blue tack out the other day as well. Damn it. Oh, so close. So <coughs> close to putting it up. So I went to uh, I went to get Ace Combat at, uh, on a Friday morning. Went to the shop. Had a load of fun in game. Um, <laughs> just as a, just as a side note, you're a you're a shower of shit game. Just I'm just throwing that. See, one last out week, no, two weeks ago, we were promoting we, we, we game, were promoting them up. But obviously, we were promoting game. Yeah, but uh, obviously that's not true. Um, I, uh, it's one I said. I don't, I don't want to bad mouth too much, but uh, games customer service is terrible. I think they watch the podcast. You know? Um, you know, when when your answer as as a as a customer service sort of thing is. Hmm. It's like, oh, well done. Well done to you. Yeah, that's brilliant. Which game were you in, just out of curiosity? A game. Town or not town? Not town. Right. 
Um, <laughs> but it was apparently town's fault that there was an issue. Well, the townspeople, they, they, they listen to the podcast. Hmm. Then they should uh, sort that shit out. Uh, you've been told town's game. Uh, town game, sort it out. Once across, uh, I mean, somewhere else game. <laughs> sort it out, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I went to get the game, there was a load of confusion. Uh, and uh, I got the game, walked out, I had to go to Starbucks because if I'd have come home without a coffee, phew, there'd have been trouble. So I was like, I'll go into Starbucks. As I walked out of the game and walked into Starbucks, they're next door to each other, I, I had this realisation, and that realisation was, Never, never did look up a review for this game before buying it. Yeah, it's funny because we... Well, I mean, I, I spoke about it because of Eurogamer and I did say that it was cool and it was smooth and it's a flight sim and we both said, nobody does flight sims anymore. No. Which should have set the alarm bells ringing, really. That so, statement right there, mm. we should have been like, uh, nobody does flight sims anymore. So I was a little bit like, oh no, oh no, I've spent a lot of money on a game because, you know, that's the other thing. They, that a particular company who we won't mention like to charge you over the way over the odds for their game. <laughs> um, good job I was trading a bag of shit in to get it. Um, oh no! I feel like I'm rambling. I'm rambling on this one, this podcast. I know uh, what you're talking about. The bag of shit. No, 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 it was it was a physical bag of. Oh, an actual bag of shit. Yeah, there was uh, there was three games in there, all of them. It's terrible. Um. <laughs> So, I'm like, shit, while I'm waiting for my coffee, I did a little googly moogly. Uh, that's not true. I went on IGN. Um, so, IGN went, here's your review. And I was like, mm. you know, when you're looking at something, they're like one eye closed and <laughs> yeah, squinting yeah. with the other one. Like, and it's like, oh, it looks real nice. And they're talking about the engine that it's used. And it's like, oh, it looks real nice. It's like, cool. It's like, it doesn't tell you much. It doesn't explain a lot. It, uh, you can fail missions and simultaneously go, don't know what happened there. That is true. So the short version <laughs> is, I'm going to tell you what IGN said. Yeah. And then I'm going to tell you how well they they got this because, you know, we're actually reviewing IGN. We're reviewing IGN today. <laughs> um, IGN when uh, it looks real nice when you're flying along, you know, you do this that, and the other. Um, it's been a while since a flying game. It's very much like the the last or the others. Um, Lan came in like I was playing it the first day, and Lan came in. She was like. It just looks like every other Ace Combat game. And Ace Combat probably looks quite a lot like Afterburner, the the, the <laughs> yeah. arcade game. I love Afterburner. That's I love game. Afterburner. It's a great so game. So that's my point. I'm like, right, it looks like the last one. Well, I loved the last one. So, you know, or I loved the Ace Combat series or whatever. So it looks pretty. Um, it doesn't explain a lot. And there are points in time when you're like, why why am I on fire spinning down to the ground telling me that the mission's failed? Why have you told me the mission's failed when you haven't told me how to stop that from happening? There's a lot of that. There was a bit of a mission where I was flying after this massive plane and it just kept going, mission failed, mission failed. Or I kept dying. I was like, I don't understand it. And then for one random reason, I dropped back a bit and at the point I kept dying, this like big um, like force field went round the plane and I'm like... Uh, didn't know that that's why I was dying playing cool. with the force field makes a lot of sense yeah that happens all the time you get that a lot it's also a game that relies heavily on its story there's like really in depth cuts. you mentioned to me <laughs> this to me earlier <laughs> really <laughs> right long in depth cutscenes that are completely incomprehensible <laughs> I've got a fucking clue what's going on the story's like so so yeah, uh, this happened, and, uh, and that happened, and, and this is going on, and this is a character in the game, and you're like, I'm not playing as that character, I don't know who this is, who are you, what are you doing, what are you talking about? I almost feel like if it started before the mission and went, go and blow some shit up, I'd be like, cool. If it literally said, go and blow shit up, shoot a plane, why don't you, shoot a tank, shoot a boat. If it just said that, I'd be like, that is fine by me. Let me play it. But no, we have to sit through these five-minute cutscenes that make 
no fucking oh, sense. That seems nice. No, because that's the other thing. They don't. They don't look especially great. Yeah. So um, it clearly isn't Top Gun. Top Gun acting. Um, so these cutscenes, the the story that is, you need you need some kind of you know degree to understand. Um, it looks nice. Uh, the cutscenes are fine, but they add nothing to the game. Do you know what? Uh, you know what people want from a from a flight simulator or a a, 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 com- a flight combat game. Loads of story. <laughs> like it took me like nine missions to work out which team I was on. <laughs> are you American? I've no idea. Erosion. What's that? Yeah, I have no idea. No idea. Anybody and then, know what that is? There's a thing Please where, a where you, you end up... You, you're like a criminal because you apparently killed someone that you didn't kill. It's, it's proper like, I ain't got a fucking clue what's going on. And then none of it matters because all you want to do is fly the plane. <coughs> so the in planes, the end of all that then? The planes are super cool. So you've got this <laughs> thing called like the aircraft tree. So you can unlock planes because yeah. you get money for doing the missions. Yeah. You can also unlock... Um, parts which are essentially perks so perks that make your homing missiles better homing missiles yeah. ones that give you more special weapons That's ones cool. that make your guns fire better cool. ones that make your planes go faster ones that make your plane turn better uh, something about the, apparently a laser but I haven't used a laser Sweet. so I don't know what that's about ones that make your bombs better there's just loads of perks loads of planes I think there's one in there, and this is uh, an anime reference, but I think there's one in there that might be a sort of a tip of the hat to uh, Macross Plus, which is an anime, because um, there's a plane that's very that's got a name that's almost identical to something from Macross Plus. So I'm like saving up for that. It's a lot of money there. Um, but this review might sound a little negative in some ways. What I can say is this: I sit down. I put it on. I was really looking forward to this game because I haven't had an Ace Combat game in a long time because I was a minimum. I sat down. I put it on. I go, right, I'm going to go fly a plane. Get in the plane. Fly the plane. You have to do, Sometimes you have to take off. Sometimes you have to land. Sometimes you have to refuel in mid-air. That's cool. Little, little, that little, little, little quirky things you have to do. Yeah, that's sounds cool. cool other yeah, games, other, badass. Other Ace Combat games have done it. It's yeah, fine. It's two badass. minutes out of your day. Cool. You're flying around. You're dogfighting. You're shooting a tank. You're shooting a boat. You're shooting a structure. You you're doing like some stealth mission where you got to get through a canyon and stuff. You know, with a plane because they're quiet. Um, this this roof sounds quite native, but it's fun playing that game, flying around in the in the plane, shooting things, missiles, all that. It's fun. Yeah. And you know what I said to somebody today? I was like, I got guys come back. Uh, I've been playing it. And it's fun. What was the last game you played where you went, oh, this is loads of fun? Spider Man. You know, it, it, it's a bit of a weird situation where games aren't <coughs> fun anymore. Mm. Games aren't. I'm just going to stick it on for like half an hour and, and do something because it's fun. It's almost like games just stopped being fun. Yeah. Look at look at some of the games from last year. You're saying Spider Man. Spider Man's fun. Yeah, Spider Man's fun. You swing around the city and you do this. City and it kicks shit out of people. But the other big game of last year was God of War. Oh yeah, okay. I did. Described yeah. as a slow burn. Yeah. Feelsy. Yeah, I don't. I don't need that. You know, you're walking through <laughs> through this, and you've got you've got the kid, and you you know you're supposed to feel something, and it's like. Yeah, I don't want that. I just is want to kill stuff. Is that fun? Um, I, I, I was saying to a mate of mine, I was like, you know, it's fun. I was like, when was the last time you played a fun game? And he was like, Assassin's Creed Origins. That was oh, yeah, fun. That, that was fun. But if you're talking about games <coughs> that came out X number of months ago, or even X number of years ago, as a, what was the last game that you played that was fun? Are we not missing the point? Mm. My, my mate was like, do you suppose we're too old for it? Do you suppose games are still fun and we're just old? And I was like, um, maybe. No, no. Maybe it's a grumpy old man thing. Yeah, I, say, I remember when yeah, games I, I, were fun. I, I think I have more fun than you then. Because most games I play are fun. I, I enjoy playing them. 
But you think like, say. like something that stands out to me is like a game that's fun that I put on and I just have fun the whole time I play it. Grand Theft Auto Five. I've played that. About yeah, that's fun. Well, five times. any Grand Theft Auto is always fun. Grand Theft Auto is always fun. I mean, you drive, you drive around in cars. Forza's fun. Forza Horizon. Yeah, yeah that's fun. Those that's games fun. are fun. Enjoyed Forza Horizon. That's fun. Obviously, at this point in time, I am now listening to a lot of games that are fun. But it feels like fun's been taken away from gaming. Isn't that why we're here? Yeah. Isn't that what we're doing? Yeah. If, I, if I'm like... Come oh, on. I am. I'm there like, all right, <laughs> so later on, I'm going to do this and do that, do the other, and then I'm going to put, put Ace Combat on and I'm going to play it because it'll be fun. My, the reason that I didn't want to review this game too soon was I didn't want another Assassin's Creed Odyssey where like this where time where you said it was shit tomorrow, and then it was awesome yeah. yeah I don't want the reverse <laughs> of that I don't want to be sitting this time tomorrow going that fucking Ace Combat game can sling it up because it's fucking shit so has it got any DLC is no that idea uh, has it got multiplayer I think so yeah right they were my two big questions right there apparently and this isn't apparently at all it says it on the front of the box VR Ah, see, I sent you about VR. So it's VR that, compatible. That would be really cool, that. If you're and in the cockpit view and it was VR, I reckon that would be really good. It's got VR-specific missions. Now, I don't have the PlayStation VR. Um, I was talking to somebody about it today, but I don't have it. Um, and part of me is a bit like, I kind of want to know. Yeah, I'd like to know what that looks like. I kind of want to know what that looks looks like yeah. and, and sort of feels like you know like you say if you're sat in the cockpit and you turn your head and you're like look around I, I, you see like yeah, the right. sky I imagine and that the makes plane. the game really different and if the play. if the audio's there and like the plane's going past and stuff I'd be like oh, yeah I, I would be really interested to see how that looks but then again VR isn't very well sold to, to us as the consumer you know no not really PlayStation VR is probably the things that's been sold the most and it's just it really is an underutilised market. That's what I said to you. I, I feel that VR is massively underdeveloped in the fact that it's still really expensive, so your average Joe Bloggs isn't going to get it. And yep. there aren't that many games that are VR, nope. so why would you want to invest in it anyway? I understand that for a VR developer, it's probably Catch-22, but VR's out there. The two things go hand in hand. Yeah, the You're VR not... is out there now, so now you need to develop the games that work for the VR instead of... And that like Oculus came out and there's like a new version of an Oculus but hardly anyone's got the old version so yeah. why have you updated your Oculus but not updated the games and, and that's part of the issue you're not going to make a game on a platform that nobody plays no exactly but if there aren't any games for the platform no nobody's going to play use it. it exactly you know, it, it is cash we, um, we did um, we did a tech cast uh, Ed's where we'd gone to play with all of Ed's toys Ed's got a lot of tech, techie toy things uh, and ended up doing VR for like a couple of hours Yeah, good and fun. then just doing a VR tech thing and that we I played one game yeah. the the robot shooting game yeah thing. that's cool and that I, yeah. I haven't had fun like that in a long time yeah, that, was, a really good game. that was super fun and and you know when Ed's there going Oh, it's uh, it was free. Yeah. And I, well, know. it was free with the Oculus. I mean, the Oculus was, was however much it cost. Um, but then that's it, because then we sat and started pricing stuff up, and it's like, oh, it's a grand for the PC. It's 600 quid for the Oculus. And then you need... Because the stands that Ed's got for the, the cameras... Yeah, the cameras. They don't come with the Oculus. No. They were stands that you already had. Yeah, yeah. For other things. So you're a bit like... Oh well, you know, let's spend two thousand pounds to play a game where you shoot robots, even though that was super cool. But it was one free game. <clears throat> and, yeah. And to be honest, like that, I've played Beat Saber on it as well, which is a lot of fun. That looks fun. But again, it's underdeveloped. There aren't that many songs on it. Yeah. It's not like Guitar Hero, where Guitar Hero had hundreds of songs on it that you could play. Beat Saber's um, available for the PS, the PlayStation. PS4, VR. yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a real fun game. Um, I mean, I know we digress slightly. But um, yeah, the VR is underdeveloped. Unfortunately, there aren't there aren't enough games for it for me to want to go out and, and spend the money. And here is the exact the, here's the exact thing. I bought a game that splashed across the front of it, VR compatible. You flip it over, you go, oh, what's this? Uh, VR specific mission. So I can't play the missions that are on that game because I don't have the VR. 
So you've got that side of it. Yeah. But here's here's the 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 breaker of all of it. I'm I no matter how much I want to play those missions, no matter how much I want to see what that looks like, I'm not going to go out and buy VR. Well, the other thing as well, if it's VR specific missions, there aren't surely there aren't as many as there are on the actual oh, game. There'll, so, there'll be like two. So you're going to get this VR thing. You're going to do your, you don't know, let's say four or five for argument's sake that they developed it. Yeah. But then you're going to be like, okay, well I've done that now, and now I get to go back to playing the normal game. Yeah. Which is it just seems a shame. I mean, it's cool that they they've developed it because they obviously mm. want to push it out there. But it's like Doom. Doom exists in VR on the PlayStation. Mm-hmm. I don't know anyone that's played it, and Doom seems like a great game to play on on VR. But again, do I want to go and get VR for Doom? There are. Is it any good? VR has limitations, and those limitations are through the movement. Because um, you know you don't you don't move as if you do. Mm. Like when you play in that um, that robot shooting game on the yeah, on you the just rip, click forward. You push a button and go. I want to go over there, yeah, and, then you, and you teleport there. So you're only in like a field of where you would turn and stuff. Um, so the movement aspect. And pretty sure that Doom was largely about the movement. Right. So, you know, yeah, you can shoot the monsters, and that would be probably quite cool. But it's taking away an element yeah. uh, to give you one small element. Um, but, yeah, we, we you know, we yeah. got the subject. At this point in time, I, I am terrified that when I put Ace Combat on later, I'm going to be sitting there going, why did I review it? Because now I can't do this mission, and it's super annoying, and it's making me really angry, and I don't want to play it anymore. But at this point in time, what I will say is, really enjoying Ace Combat. Really enjoy it. A really fun game. Really enjoyable. It, it feels like that's something that I've been missing from games. Okay. And, you know, yeah, I think, because we did a bit of a, of a review, sort of, we did a, a roundup of the games of 2018, mm. which was a terrible year for games. We did a preview of 2019. We're already well into those games coming out and things. Um, but if I look at the last three games I had uh, at the back end of last year, they were terrible. And the thing that was missing was they weren't fun. Mm. And what was fun was then immediately taken away from you with the other hand with, here's something that's not fun. Here's something fun with something that isn't fun. Here's a horse that can't run. Here's a what? balloon. I wonder what game you're talking about. Here's a balloon that you can attach to something with a rocket. But here's a mission you can't complete. Here's a, here's a game from a franchise, number three of the franchise, uh, but we've changed how that game plays completely. And, oh, that's right. It's not fun anymore. <laughs> which leads us on if you can guess to which the three, second part games of this podcast. So we're going to preview a game. Yeah, so what comes out tomorrow? Tomorrow is the ground up remake of, of Resident Evil 2. It is comes out tomorrow so I downloaded the demo and gave the demo a pop so it is a demo that gives you ooh, 30 minutes of gameplay I on the other hand downloaded the demo and haven't played it we'll come to that in a minute <laughs> okay so yeah you get 30 minutes of gameplay um, and it starts you in the police station so for those of you that have played Resident Evil 2 um, if you remember the first part of the game was largely centred around the police station in Raccoon City, mm-hmm. trying to solve the puzzles and doing all that crap uh, until you meet up again with Claire Redfield. So this is where you begin, in that police station. I have to say, first impressions, super nostalgic. Like, it's... You feel like you're coming home. Like, <laughs> oh, I know this police station. Man, I, could, I feel like I could just go to that room there and there'll be a shotgun in there. Oh, the door's locked. Don't remember that door being locked. Oh, that's okay. There's other stuff for me to look around. Still super familiar. So that was really nice. That was, like, the, even the puzzles are... <coughs> and I, I can't remember Resident Evil 2 well enough because I played it, obviously, first time round to know if the puzzles are exactly the same. But there is definitely a lot of very, very similar elements to it. So so Resident Evil 2 will have still been the PlayStation 1? Uh, yes, and it was 1997, I believe. 
So yeah, it was still PlayStation One, but it was much better than play than Resident. I mean, Resident Evil was good. Resident Evil Two was just it was just a better game. It was I don't know. It, there was, it was more it to was, it. It was bigger. You, you, yeah, you moved from the mansion to the city basically, mm. um, and although a lot of it was in that police station, you you still did get to explore uh, the town and other creatures. So yeah, first impressions of that was really cool. That they've done a really good job on the graphics, obviously, because they've they've rebuilt it. My first question has to be, what's the movement like? Uh, yeah, so it, like a normal game. So you move, you run, you do right. all the same stuff. It, like any modern game now, your character runs along. You can shoot and move because in the old games you could only ever just stand. Yeah. So now you can move, you can shoot. Um, there's lots of cool close-ups of really skanky-looking zombies. There's some, when you get like attacked, they kind of zoom right in and bite your flesh, and like you get a really good close up, and then you kind of push them away. Um, there's still like collection of herbs and stuff to build, like you know, like your antidotes. There's this first aid spray <laughs> stuff you can get. Um, you, you still got like quite a limited inventory. I think it was like eight items you can have in there, but you can combine packs of bullets if they're the same. That stuff's all. This, that is literally the same game. Co- like cut and paste so that's really cool the storyline is obviously the exact same the only difference is um i feel they've added a bit more to the the actual like there's more it feels like there's more areas to go to in the police station the textures are obviously better uh when you go into dark rooms it's not it's third person but it's almost fps as well so when you shoot it goes kind of almost fps you get like a decent zoomed in version and you've got your torch so there's a lot of dark rooms and you can look around with the torch that's really well done if you set the if you make your settings how it suggests then when the torch is not <laughs> when the torch is not on the, the, the dark areas it's proper dark so when I so, always cheat I always yeah, cheat yeah whack it up so you can see what's going on <laughs> man well I mean you oh. gotta, you're just going to ruin so, everything so what you're telling me that. is that I should be able to see the see this side, see, see a little bit of the middle one and not see the other one. Yeah. But I know that when I go and play the game, I can see fuck all. So I'm thinking I just bump it up a little. Sometimes it's burnt me, though. Sometimes <laughs> it's burnt me, because sometimes I'll just whack it up to 100 and then start playing the game, and you play the game like that. And just go into the settings and knock that down to 75. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah I do have a tendency to cheat. I think it was I want to say Doom 3 that was the torch one yeah that was that. That you just couldn't see that. anything Silent I think, Hill as I well think was originally that was, torches. that was the one that I bumped up the, the brightest <laughs> to get through it there's been a few games that it's like yeah if you put it on the set and they want you to put it on you can't see anything but it's super atmospheric I mean it was very atmospheric so um, I, the settings were they they seemed okay but then I did have the curtains drawn all the lights off I was sitting in the dark and I was only using that so I was like immersed so it was cool um, a couple of things I did take away the zombies seem a lot harder to kill um, bearing in mind that Resident Evil's always been a stickler for having not very much ammo mm. so you get a knife halfway through the demo the knife didn't really do much uh, at one point I, I put th- Four, maybe five bullets into the head of a zombie which has then attacked me I've stuck the knife into its throat and still had to shoot it a couple of times so I was like I've literally used almost an entire magazine of bullets Ooh. and I haven't got many left so that put me up and a few times there was another zone where an area where there was a zombie coming after me I shot it in the head a couple of times it died I walked away and it stood up and came after me again so I put some more bullets into it and when I came back it was still kind of crawling around and I was like whoa Ooh, what the fuck so no. um, and when I like stabbed it like I'd be stabbing it on the floor and it would still kind of stand up and I'd be stabbing it and maybe I wasn't using the knife properly but it it didn't seem to be doing anything so I feel that if that if that's the way forward that's going to be an issue because there there aren't many opportunities oh. to hide from the zombies like when they come they come so i got into a zone where i went into a corridor and some zombies crashed through and your guy goes jesus christ they're everywhere so you i went into another room and shut the door thinking they'd just shuffle past they just opened that door and came in so i had to kill them 
but by then I was almost well out of ammo. Um, and so, I mean, the advantage is it creates stress because then you're like, man, if there's another monster around the corner, I'm probably not going to be able to kill it, so what do I do? But it also adds the point of, well, I haven't got any bullets, and if there are a few zombies, I'm kind of fucked. So that, that kind of put me... I don't know, but I didn't get... To, there were no difficulty settings on the demo, so it could have been a difficulty setting thing. Maybe Maybe it was set on a... So, as a rule, a lot of demos will be set on... Like a medium, normal, yeah. yeah, normal difficulty. So the players who play on like normal and hard difficulty don't feel, you know, that it's too that easy. They're, they're being cheated out of a demo. And players who play it on easy get a little bit of a taste. Get like, oh, it's quite difficult. I don't know what the game will be like. Um, they want they want to set people's expectations. Obviously, once you play the game. You might get an easier setting. Yeah, I mean, so, the only thing that put me off was that I, I did feel that I'm going to run out of ammo really quickly because they're, they're, I remember there being a lot less zombies in Resident Evil 2 in the police station. It was all about creeping around yeah. and the odd surprise. There were a lot of zombies. It felt more Walking Dead. But, um, the, but then in that case, <clears> it should give you more ammo. I didn't run out of ammo, but I at one point I had... Well, I didn't run out. At one point, I had no spare ammo. I had two shells in my gun, and then I found five shells. But if you put in, like, three to five in a zombie, you're not going to get very far. If there are two zombies, no. and the, the knife, I don't know. I, like I say, maybe I wasn't using the knife as efficiently as I could have done, but it didn't seem to be doing much, uh, which kind of put me off a bit. Um, but what was cool was there were loads of puzzles, there's loads of cool puzzles. There's loads of like code breaking and stuff. There's lots of like reading journals and trying to figure out what's this, where's that. Uh, special keys you need to open special doors, which I, I kind of miss. You, there aren't a lot of games that do that now. Tomb Raider was like the original Tomb Raider was really good for that puzzles and stuff, mm. and that's now just become combat based rather than puzzles. Whereas th- oh, well, Resident well, Evil well, seems to have it's gone back to a an era where it was about puzzle solving and a little bit of shooting just because the puzzle solving was what gave the game longevity. Yeah. So, and it seems to have stuck to that. Um, again, you only get 30 minutes, so I can't tell you much more than that, but in the 30 minutes I played it, I enjoyed it. And after playing it, yes, I did want to play more. Now, whether I'd go out and pay full price for it. So here's the thing. <clears throat> if all I'd say is if you played resident evil two on the PlayStation back in the day, you can probably wait. If you've never played it, go get it. So here's here's the thing, and obviously this falls weirdly in the the scale that we were going to use. So, I downloaded the demo, but I only downloaded the demo the other day, and I haven't played it. Why am I saying to you? The reason I haven't played it was because I saw a thing on IGN that was like, here's all the things that you should do in the demo. I didn't have time to read that. So, I haven't read it, so I haven't played the demo. The game comes out very soon, and I'm like... Well, am I going to play the demo when the game comes is coming out? Problem with that is, I, if I'm honest, don't know if I'm actually going to get it. Yeah, um, I, I do want it, only because they've done a really nice job on it. Price but will be a huge factor. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I mean, I, I've played it and completed it on the PlayStation the first time round, and... Essentially, this is the same game. Um, so that that for me, that is a bit of a factor. I tend not to play games I've already completed because, well, I've completed them. And, I, and as you know, I'm a chief hunter, so they're 100% done. Now, obviously, Resident Evil 2, when it came out, there were no achievement system. There was no trophies or anything. Mm. So that, that'll be a factor that'll be interesting, but it's only going to probably be completed on easy, medium, and hard, Kill ten zombies, kill a hundred zombies, da, 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 which I I like doing, but it I don't think it's gonna make me rush out and buy it. And when I when I started playing it, uh, it was very nostalgic. But I remembered how the game was, and I was like, ah, oh, this reminds me of that, and th- which is cool. But it reminds me of a game that I've already played. And although they've updated it graphically, and by the sounds of it, added a couple of things to it. It's essentially going to be the same game. It, it does feel that. Um, and it's going to have the same restrictions that that game would have, even though they've removed like the movement. Yeah, because uh, uh, they, they've not really remade the game, have they? They've just and, and this they've is essentially what, tweaked the old version. 
is probably putting me off. And like we keep sort of going on, um, 20, 2019 is looking real juicy for games. Mm. Do I want to buy a game that I've played before that, although it probably looks quite nice, there's probably not massive leaps and bounds changes um, when we're only a couple of weeks away from another game that I might want. Yeah, that, exactly. That that is that's um, going to be a factor. Let, let's jump. Let's jump to the list. I suppose we can use this. Yeah, because nobody. Uh, uh, nobody's won no, it. Yet. Nobody's won it. Yet. Uh, da, 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 really quick sort of squares. We've done those. Guys. We've got risen here. Oh, you'll be real, down. real excited to get uh, the, the Walking Dead game. Uh, well, actually, interestingly, um, so I cancelled my pre-order, but the two days later, I did also get uh, notice to say that it's been pushed forward, so or pushed back. So uh, I don't know when the release date is now for Walking Dead. So Resident Evil Two Remake is the twenty fifth of Jan. Yeah. Two, three weeks, three weeks later is Crackdown Three. Mm. I would far rather. Pro- Play and pay plus Crackdown. Crackdown is on um, Game Pass. Game Pass, yeah. So if it goes on Game Pass, you pay what eight eight quid if you're paying full price for Game Pass, which I don't think anybody does these days. Um, So why does that show there, but but not in the list? Because it's like top games. Metro, Um, Metro, I'd get over Crackdown. Metro, I saw a, a. uh, um, title of something the other day that said is is this this Metro game going to make Metro go mainstream because I think they, I think they've put certain changes into this Metro game that are going to make it more palatable for the for the for the masses. All right. I think a lot more people are going to be jumping on this game this time round. Um, because I mean, because what they the, five games in so. I think this is three, isn't it? I don't know. I can't like Metro, there's no three. Metro and Metro. I thought they were more than that. Um, yeah. So, Crackdown 3 and Metro, both on the 15th, and Dead or Alive if you're a fighting game person, and then a week after Anthem. So. And you've got Dirt Rally as well, which you fancy. Yeah. So, three weeks after Resident Evil. We've got three, three decent looking games, really nice looking games, and a mm. week after we've got the one game that I'm actually waiting for this year, <laughs> uh, which is Anthem. Um, Incidentally, I did pre-order Rage Two. It's probably a good choice. Mm. Um, I also, um, but the reason I got into the PlayStation Store, like I mentioned, was to go to the the li- my my library of games, and in there. I was like, oh, here's a load of games that I, I fancy playing. Here's a load of games that I have that I didn't really know I had in my library that I've not played. Um, so I do feel like Resident Evil is probably a... I might get it and play it when it's cheap. Yeah, no, I, I would agree. Um, if we're going to do the scale, uh, like I said, for me, if you've never played Resident Evil 2, go get it. If you mm. have, rent. Yeah, I suppose rent falls into the get it cheap category. I would probably say, you know, if it comes, if it's a reasonable price, I'd get it as something to play. But it's not. I'm not rushing out day one to buy it. Mm. Um, and like I say, there's there's other things, new things that I'm I'm looking forward to more. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. So yeah. So if that wraps it up, right, we might not be able to. Uh, I need to do. We might not be able to review. The uh, the Resident Evil. It's still a great version. It's a great version. You should put this on while you play Ace Combat. Oh. You should. Yeah. Then it will make it an awesome game. Because even if it's shit, you'll just be like. <laughs> Come on, Goose, let's go! Are you done then? Yeah, I'm done. Oh. All right, there you go. Well, see you later. See you guys. Bye. 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 You'll need to fade us out. <laughs> I was looking at uh, fading <laughs> audio. Why oh, aren't you still? I thought that was good, that little theme tune. It just needed that, I felt. Ha <laughs>
that one, see. So there you go. What do you think to that? James plays episode three in the bag. Uh, Ace Combat. Definitely a game you should check out. And if you've not played Resident Evil 2, check that out as well. For you YouTube watchers, do uh, do the subscribing thing. Click for notifications and things like that. Even post a comment. Uh, everybody should jump over to thecookiecast.com. Check out the social media feed and send an email and uh, do all that fun stuff. Uh, so, yep, yeah, tune in next time. See what games we're playing next time. Uh, but until then, I'll say bye-bye.